Hi folks, Keltech Lover here. Uh, I had an interesting question from one of my viewers by the name of Andy. Uh, Andy, this video is for you. Uh, I hope it's informative. I hope it'll answer all your questions about uh, about your Wasser rifle. Now in front of me here, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, what I what what we're dealing with. This is actually my Wasser 1063. Uh, I understand exactly what you've uh, what has happened when you were doing the uh, cleaning on your rifle. It's actually a common mistake. Uh, and for those of you that are new to AKs, don't let these things intimidate you. They're a very simple rifle. Uh, it's uh, kind of hard to mess them up. I mean, you, you can. I mean, I'm not going to say that they're completely indestructible, but they're very robust and uh, they're designed to be, uh, to be maintained very easily. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and break the top off this thing. And Andy, as I understand, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I understand that you were cleaning the rifle meaning you probably got it down to this point here. You use your hammer forward and you had uh, lifted your safety up, dislodged it, more than likely like that. Am I, am I wrong? Okay, well, in the process, you see this little, uh, this little shepherd hook right here? What has happened is that thing has come unlodged and, uh, and I'm gonna show you how this thing goes back in. It, uh, I'm going to go ahead and scoot your trigger spring over just a little bit so that this thing will show up and I'm going to zero in so that you, hopefully it will show up here. Maybe that will show up good. Bear with me for a minute, I'm by myself out here. Okay, this portion of the, your shepherd hook actually clips underneath the, uh, the hammer pin. And then the back portion of it is going to go over the top of your uh, trigger pin and it's going to hold it into a groove on the pins. Now that thing actually wedges in with spring tension over the hammer pin and then over the top of your trigger pin and then it is actually retained by your safety. And that's the way it works. Now when you go to put your safety back in, once you get to this point here, go ahead and pull your trigger forward and then your safety can, be come, down, uh, can come down. Now. What has happened is when you put your safety back in, uh, this spring clip, like I said, is, uh, this little shepherd hook has come dislodged momentarily and more than likely has just uh, moved the trigger pin uh, uh, over just a little bit and now it will stay in place. Now, I'll show you why that is. Uh, you're going to go in and we're going to take this thing back off. I'm going to pull this uh, deal here back out. And then I'm going to ease this trigger pin out because I'm going to show you what it's actually locking into. If you look at your trigger pin, now your hammer pin is going to be exactly the same, they're, they're interchangeable. If you look at this trigger pin, you're going to see a, uh, a groove right here. That groove is where this uh, shepherd hook rides. Now if you're looking at your pin, just like, just like this, the shepherd hook is going to ride in that groove and hold that pin in place. That's what keeps it from walking out. On the front, underneath the hammer, uh, this thing here is actually wedged up underneath the, bot the, the very bottom of the uh, receiver and then is wedged up against the, uh, the uh, pin like that. That's what, uh, that is what has happened. And more than likely, this one here did not become unlodged, but this one here, had, uh, when you popped it out, had just popped over that little notch right there and now you can't get the pin to stay in. And that's all, all it is. Uh, you might be able to take and, and pop it in there, or the easiest thing to do is go ahead and pull your safety back loose, lift it up, make sure it's in that groove, and then replace your safety. Uh, but I want to show you something that, uh, that I do here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and break this down here a little easier. This is, uh, this is a schematic that I copied off the internet. Actually, I ha I <laughs> funny, the schematic that's, uh, that's here had these three schematics here, which is actually, uh, this one's a little closer to uh, the one that came out of my Sega. This is the wire clip that came, this is the shepherd hook that came out of my Sega, and even that uh, doesn't look like the picture. But this one right here is the one that we're dealing with. This is your Wasser 1063. Uh, you can see where it goes to your trigger safety, over the top of your trigger pin and into that groove, and then it's gonna, this hook here is gonna wedge against the, uh, the bottom of the receiver, and then through spring pin tension is gonna be pushed up against that trigger pin. That's exactly the way yours should lay out. Now, with that being said, 
whenever I get a rifle, when I get an AK in, uh, I get rid of these things. I get rid of these, I get rid of these little deals here because I'll be honest with you, they are a pain in the backside. So what I do is I go online and you can you can get them, uh, uh, Midway sells them, uh, uh, Brownell sells them, there's several different places that sells them. It's a little pin retainer for uh, AK-47, you can get them off a of gun broker. I think I bought this one off of eBay if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it, depending on where you get them, they might cost as much as 10 bucks, usually they're a little less than that. But uh, this one works exactly the same way. On your trigger pin, go ahead and zero in here. On your trigger pin, your trigger pin is located like this, and you're going to take and, whoop, it ain't showing up. There we go. Your trigger pin is located like this, and that thing actually uh, rides inside that groove just like so. And then once you hook it into that, then you're going to ride that over, and it's going to hook into your uh, into your hammer pin like that. And that's going to keep your pin from. Uh, from walking out. It gives it a much more positive lockup than what the uh, the old wire clips and uh, a little more foolproof. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I how I put these things in. Real simple. Uh, show you a couple of things you want to note. This is something else that's also important. I want you to note the orientation of these uh, of these pins right here. This is your hammer pin right here, and this is going to be your trigger pin. You notice that they are flush with the receiver. That's the way they have to ride. They have to be uh, they have to be located like that in order to be able to uh, be flush. I'm going to go ahead and pan out a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and put uh, tilt this in so you can see that. And again, this part here is going to go in and hook into your uh, into your trigger pin. You want to give the hold the trigger pin back here so that you know it's not going to walk out or not trigger pin, I'm sorry, uh, hammer pin. And then you want to lock it in. That one just fell right into place. Make sure that it's locked in and uh, once you've got it in that position you can actually uh, check it, make sure that it's not going to walk out on you and that's solid. And then you just rock this thing down and make sure that it falls onto that groove right there and holds that groove in. See if you can see that. This this actually works exactly the same way as the other uh, the other retainer. See if you can see that. See how it uh, see how it sits down in that uh, that pin right there and holds it, and it's actually recessed into that little groove. And of course, now you got this little hole right here, this little hole here that your uh, safety lever latches into. Give your hammer or give your trigger just a let me span out so you can see this. Go ahead and pull your trigger and once you pull your trigger then you can roll your uh, safety back and that's in. And now your pins are going to pop out on you. Once you're done with that you pull your hammer back, drop your bolt back into it. i watch this thing show up and make a monkey out of me. There we go. Put that in there. Now if you're asking what this, if you're wondering what this little blue thing is right here, this is actually a recoil buffer. Uh, I've got a separate video on that if you want to. They're very simple to install. Ten bucks. Uh, makes the rifle shoot a little easier. Go ahead and drop that thing on there. And then you want to function check the rifle to make sure that, uh, that it does uh, function like it's supposed to. You want to cycle it. cycle it through a couple of times, drop the hammer, cycle it, and make sure that your hammer pins and trigger pins stay in place. Uh, well, Andy, I hope that uh, helps out. I hope that uh, clears up any uh, uh, misunderstanding and stuff. Uh, write me back. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.